Hi, Wendy here from wendybartrell.com. And uh, as we continue our walking challenge um, with tips each day for 21 days, uh, we're going to challenge you to push yourself today with more steps in less time. So it's our intention with this 21-day walking challenge to allow the nature of moving your body well to help you get in better shape and therefore better health. And we're going to um, talk about pushing yourself today. A quote by Thomas Jefferson, walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. Now what we know for sure is that walking is a link to living a healthy and vibrant life. We believe that uh, walking inspires the mind, activates the body, and nourishes the soul. So welcome back to day 13 of our 21-day uh, challenge. Um, your walk today is 30 minutes, and your today's tip is all about pushing yourself. You know, this walking challenge is meant for beginners and people of all fitness levels, which is why the increase in how long you walk every day only changes by a minute or so. Um, this is because starting slow and going steady and gradually working harder is optimum for long-term success. In our experience, when you begin something new, going full force, attempting to do a workout that someone much more advanced can do easily will only cause you to burn out, get overwhelmed, and ultimately just give up. The most important thing throughout this challenge is that you take action daily. That you get out there. Put in the effort, even if some days your walk isn't as quite as long as recommended, just taking the action is the most important. But today we want to talk about pushing yourself. The reason we've saved this for halfway through the challenge is that by now, if you're st sticking with this, you're accustomed to walking every day and are already up to 30-minute uh, walks. Now is a great time to push yourself a little bit more. For today's walk, we want you to take more steps in less time. So what does this mean? It means you're gonna walk a little faster, uh, maybe watch your fitness tracker. Again, tracking is important. And see how many more steps that you can do in the same length of time as you did yesterday. To accomplish this challenge, you'll have to focus on your posture as we discussed yesterday and in other blog posts. So here's what we shared yesterday, just to remind you of good walking posture. When walking, your body must be in a neutral position without leaning forward or backward. Engage your core to help maintain that good posture. It can also be helpful to imagine a string pulling your head upwards in order to maintain that erect posture. If you're walking outside, you're going to want to fix your eyes on the horizon. Now, we did share um, some ideas from the Chi walking video that we shared in our blog post, and we're going to put that in the notes for you. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch, I would highly recommend it for, for posture, because posture is important. It's made a big difference in how I walk every day. But you must also remember to roll your foot from heel to toe. And this may be something that you never thought about. Stand up and just walk a few steps forward, turn around and walk back. Notice which part of your foot landed first. When you go for a walk, you must be rolling your, your feet, starting with the heel touching the ground first, and then your toe being the last, and then lift off the ground. If you tend to more stomp and put your entire foot on the ground or walk on your toes, you will experience a lot of foot pain. And again, that's going to cause, uh, if you're walking in pain, it really will um, stop you from walking or making progress. These simple walking techniques are how I walk every day. Simple and effective in not only getting out for a daily walk, using good posture to allow me to push myself each and every time. It's fun, it's simple, 
and the exercise helps you see how much you can push yourself with more steps in less time. It is our belief the practice of walking is one of the ways to connect to living a healthy and vibrant life. You're your best advocate. If you're not moving well each day, it's easy to get burnt out by all of life's demands. Taking some time each day for yourself to get outside and walk can have a profound impact on your well-being. Physical fitness and moving well begins and ends with you. We do appreciate that there never seems as if there's enough hours in the day, but it's important to make a conscious decision to practice moving well, challenging our body, connecting with friends, going faster, challenging, good posture, and we believe that walking is the most accessible form of exercise on the planet. Taking care of your mind, body, and emotional needs will help you to be able to live your best life. We appreciate hearing from you. Will you accept today's challenge? Share any ideas, comments, or questions below. Uh, be sure to get in touch with us and let us know how we can help you. Uh, we hope you enjoy your walk today. We hope that you'll challenge yourself. We invite you to stay in touch with us through our newsletter. We'll put that uh, link in the show notes. Enjoy your walk. Like and share if you found value here today. We do invite you to subscribe to our channel. We want to thank you for connecting. I'm Wendy, wendybottrell.com. Thanks. Bye for now.